how to bypass FRP of all mobile devices whether their software is up to date from Android 13 or up to date from 14. At the moment friends, the device that I have you can see on the back side of Realme Brandy is the branding of Realme and its model number is Realme Narzo 70. The problem with Turbo 5G device is friends that the device is our FRP lock i.e. Google account lock. Gmail ID is locked. Now how will you know that your device is FRP lock? Then let me tell you a small trick. You pay attention to the top corner in my device. You see a little locker, don't you? So if this type of locker is seen in your device, then it means it is confirmed that the device is your FRP lock. Google account is locked. Gmail ID is locked. However, friends, in this video, first of all, I confirm to you that the device I have is Realme Narzo 70 Turbo 5G. It is completely FRP lock. Google account is locked. From here, we will enter our country, India. After that, we will click on next. Again, you have to click on next. Skip this option and check it out here. This message has come. Connect to Wi-Fi option has arrived. And if you skip this option from above, then see this message here. What does this message mean, friends? That you connect your device to a Wi-Fi. It is necessary to run the net in your device. Then here I connect the device to a Wi-Fi. The device is connected. Now we will do it from here. Next, wait for a few seconds. You will be completely confirmed that the device I have, Realme Narzo 70 Turbo 5G, is completely FRP locked. Google account is locked. And look at the option of draw lock screen pattern. That is the device was our first pattern lock. So saying that you draw this pattern here, we do not know the pattern. The pattern can also be replaced by a pin or password. Now friends, we will simply cancel this option from above here and now see it will come by writing verify your account. You can see the option of verify your account has come. That is to bypass the FRP of the device. Now you have to verify the email ID of this device, i.e. Gmail ID here, which we do not know. So it is confirmed that the device is FRP locked. Now see how to remove its FR. First of all, you guys got out of here on apps with connect to Wi-Fi IE, where the device was connected to Wi-Fi. You simply click on this network. You will see the share. Click on the share. After the share, quick share will be seen. You click on this. From here, you click on simple continue. Three dots will appear in the upper corner. Click on this. Settings will be visible. Click on settings. Learn more about quick share. You click on this, wait a little, you will see three dots in the top corner. Click on these three dots, then click on share article. After clicking on share article, you will see the message here. Okay, you click on simple message, then new message, you click on this. At the top, there is an option to type name, phone number. Then here you have to type 123 anything. As soon as you type, the send to option will appear. You click on this. Now friends, this message has come here automatically. Do you have to select all these messages and delete them completely? Okay, now here friends, you have to type www.youtube.com you can see on the display exactly the same type after that you send sms sms friends you will see this arrow click on tab to load review weigh it a little youtube will be seen here if you click on youtube the youtube app will open on your device one thing to note remove all permissions that come from this type in the corner there is the option of account you click on account after that you have to click after setting on settings, you click on about after about YouTube term, you have to click on services. After clicking on this, the Chrome browser will open on your device. Use without an account, click on this and then no thanks from here. This is the address box. Click on the address box, type here friends. After typing VNROM, you enter from below. VNROM bypass Google account 2024 will be seen. Click on this and the main website of VNROM will open. Now friends. From here, you will see an option on the third number of open settings. If you click on it, you will see that the main settings of your device will open. Look, the main settings of the device have been opened. First of all, I will check its model Android version for you. Here I will click on simple about device. As you can see, the model number of the device is Realme R70 Turbo 5G RMX F5. Here comes the Android version. Friends, you can see that the device is up to date with our absolutely latest security Android 14. Let's talk about its security, friends. You can see that the security patch of the device is absolutely latest on August 5th, 2024. Okay, so pay attention to the trick I am telling you by following this trick. Any mobile you have in real life, whether its software is up to date from Android 13 or 14, you will be able to bypass SRP of all mobiles very easily. Now we're going to back. From here, you come to the settings in the main settings of the device. Here you will see an option. You will see home screen, lock screen. You click on it. After that, 
you will see home screen layout. If you click on it, you will see that the home screen of your device will open. Note that only the home screen of your device is open. Your device is not yet unlocked. Because when your device is unlocked, don't pay attention to the top corner. The locker who is doing the show will not do the locker show. Okay, now friends, here you will see an application clone phone. You can open this application by clicking on the clone phone application. And now friends, now I will keep this device a little on the side. And now friends, you will need another Android device. If you take another Android device of any brandy, then look here friends, I have taken another device. Now what do you do in this device? First of all friends, you have to open the Play Store in this device and you have to download an application here. If the clone phone is okay, then I have opened Simple Play Store. I will type simple here. Friends, if you will search by typing clone phone, then the application you have to download. This app is a clone phone one plus app. Click on it and simply install this application on this device. Get another device. In that, you have to install the clone phone one plus app. The app is installed. Now we will open this application. After opening friends, now see the interface of both the applications is exactly the same. There is just a color change. Now friends, this device is a new device. Then this is the new device. You click on this, whatever the permissions come, you have to remove all the permissions step by step. Then for Android, you click on this. See here, QR code arrived. Now this is the second device we have taken. If this is an old device, then this is the old device, you click on it, whatever permission friends, you will be turned off here, you have to turn on all the permissions, you have to turn on them, you have to turn them on, you have to turn them on and off, okay? Then look here, you can see I will turn off all the permissions step by step, okay? Here comes the scanner, now scan its barcode. As soon as you scan it, you will see that the two devices are connected to each other. Look, I scanned it, now look, both the devices will be connected to each other. Here the processor is doing a little wait, here the data is being read, it will take some time. As soon as the data reading is complete, you will see. A check will come in front of everyone. Check it out in front of everyone. Now you have to delete this check, check the box at the top, and then delete this check once. See, the check has been removed in front of everyone. Come down, the app will be visible. <laughs> Click on the site. A list of all applications will be displayed. Among all these applications, you can check the application which has the lowest MB. This is the lowest MB. Then I have checked it. Now from above, I will do simple OK. I will click on start migration. Here I will verify the password. Then I entered the password from here. OK. And see this sending and see this receiving. An application that we have checked has been transferred to this device. See the transfer is complete. Now from here, I simply keep this device on the side because the work of this device is finished and see an application which we sent has been successfully transferred to this device. The option of complete migration has come. From here, simply click on done. From here now you have to set up, then follow all the steps of the video and complete the setup. Okay, we'll skip from here. Okay, next button or gesture. Check one of them, then click on done. Realme UI get started. You click on it and just friends. Now go to your device, Realme Narzo 70 Turbo 5G. Its FRP lock, i.e. the Google account lock was completely bypassed and the device was completely unlocked. But note one thing, friends, when your device is unlocked, then you have to face a small problem here. The top notification panel is currently working, but in many devices, the top notification panel does not work. All right. The notification panel of the device does not work in many devices after bypassing the FR. What do you have to do for this? Look carefully you have to go simple. Go to the settings in the main settings of the device and then after coming to the settings, you will see the system update in the last. Click on it and then click on backup reset. Click on reset phone and click on erase all data and click on erase data from here and clear from here. Please manually reset the device once as I told you in the video. By following this processor, you can remove the FRP of all mobile phones very easily, whether its software is up to date from Android 13 or 14. Hope you like the video. If you like it, share the video, like the support channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.